Hello everyone and welcome back to Talk Time Africa. As always, I'm Nikki and this is my lovely co-host, Jay. Hi everybody, welcome back. Jay, how are you? How was your week? My week was okay. I say that with a bit of anticipation because I've not been looking forward to today's show. And everybody will understand why in a minute when Nikki tells us what it's about. Um, but I'll be okay. It's good for us, just not one of my favorite things to do. Oh, Lord. So before I introduce our guest for the day, let me tell you about my week. Monday was the high point of my week. I say that because it was MLK Junior Day. And what that is, is, is the day that America commemorates the birthday of the late civil rights leader, Martin Luther King Jr. What we did was I participated in a parade that was organized by the NAACP uh, DeKalb County in conjunction with uh, ANOG, and that is the alliance of all Nigerian organizations here in Georgia. So we walked from a particular place to another, about a mile and a half was what we walked. So it was a parade and a rally, and it was fun, it was exhilarating, and it was also liberating. So I'm glad to have participated in that. Oh, NAACP, the National Association for Advancement of Colored People? Yes, that one. It was the uh, DeKalb County chapter oh. that put together the parade and rally. It's an annual event, so this is the ninth year they're uh, putting that together, and I was part of that, so I'm glad to have been. Yeah. Okay, so you walked for how many yeah, miles? Yeah, I walked. It was um, about a mile and a half that we walked, uh, sometimes uphill, sometimes downhill, but all in all, it was a very fun experience. So you're ready for today's show? Uh, she goes back there again. Yes, I'm ready for today's show. Welcome back, everyone. We now welcome our special guest, Andy the Iron Man. Come on, Andy. Hello. Hey, welcome. How are you? Good. Hey, Andy. I love this show. Oh, thank you. How are you? Very well. Thank you for coming on. <laughs> what are you doing? Get your hands off the man. Iron Man. Yes, ma'am. So, Iron Man. Yes, ma'am. Where did that name come from? Uh, Iron Man. Mm -hmm. That's because I, I eat iron, I sleep iron. I drink iron. I can't do without iron. When you say iron, what do you mean? I mean pumping iron. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Eat Sleep. iron. Mm -hmm. Sleep. Sleep iron. Wow. Drink iron. Can't do without iron. I'm telling you, this I is all iron. I can't wait to see all that <laughs> yeah. iron. You gotta stay iron, iron strong though. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Stay iron strong. Mm. That's uh, mm -hmm. different. Yeah. Okay, so stay we'll iron strong. A real iron man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Where are you from originally? Um, I'm from Nigeria. What part of Nigeria? Uh, Akwaibom State. Oh, okay. Akwaibom State. Of Nigeria. The land of promise. Oh. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. You know, um, coming from Nigeria, it's, it's unique that you're doing this because I think it's very rare for us to find an African man that has built himself up the way Iron Man has. Mm. I, I haven't, it's not that. Haven't seen that. I haven't seen it. That's true. And you know, one of the uh, awards that he's actually been awarded given, if, you, if I can say that, is one for the best pose. I just wanted to say that because he was trying to strike a pose just right. now. One for best pose and best physique. So I guess somewhere in between the show we'll be seeing those poses. Oh, and the yes. physique. And the physique. Okay. <laughs> okay. So where did all this start for you, Andy? Um, um, right when I was small, um, I always want to be a strong man. Mm. Um, as a matter of fact, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger is my real mentor. Okay. Yeah, back in the days when I watched this movie called um, The Commando, mm -hmm. you saw, I mean, you saw in the movie he was jacking up some I mean, heavy trees and everything. I look at the small cell and the physique, I was like, oh, I want to be like that. Oh, wow. I want to be like an officer. Interesting. Yeah. So that's where I pick up the interest of mm -hmm. being a bodybuilder. Mm -hmm. And so ever since then, I've been, you know, mm -hmm. competing and bodybuilding and competing. Even though my mom well, did not support me she at first. She didn't like that. Oh, she was be my behind every now and then. Oh, I don't have money for hospital. What do you think you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> but now, I, mean, I think she doesn't have any choice. That's good. She's yeah. happy. So she's happy with you mm -hmm. now. Yeah. That's good. Because That's the good. money's coming. Oh, <laughs> wow. I like the sound of that. Yes. So going, back, going back to where we come from, you know, a lot of our parents, they want you to be a doctor. They want you to be a lawyer. Exactly. You know, so telling them I want to be a, a bodybuilder, bodybuilder. It's oh, a hard pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. Slap on the face. It is. It is. <laughs> so did you go to school for this? Yes. Uh, actually, um, after high school, I 
I go on College of Education do phys physical uh, study physical education. Okay. Yes. Uh, first degree. Then when I moved back here, I went to Academy of um, Sport Medicine and okay. become a full. Ooh. You know. And you're a nutrition expert also. Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Yeah, because okay. we can't do without nutrition. Oh you know, yeah. Yes. So how do we work that nutrition into our African food? That's always been a question of mine, because there's so much foo foo and there's. You know, you got our soups and you would use all the palm oil, mm -hmm. you know, so what can you tell us about the nutri nutrition? Uh, when it comes to African food, you know, in, we're in Africa, we have a good food. We, we have do. good food. I mean, we don't have processed food like we do have in America mm -hmm. here. And I, I believe you, I mean, you just have to plan your, your meal. You have okay. to plan your meal. I mean, all foods are good. Mm -hmm. It depends on how you eat them. Right. As a matter of fact, if you, if you eat too much, mm -hmm. you, the side effect. It doesn't matter you know, what you're yes, eating. Yes, it doesn't matter what you're eating. You yeah. At the right time, you have to plan your meal. Mm -hmm. Like, for example, I mean, if you, if you like plantain, mm -hmm. some people call it dodo. Mm -hmm. you know? So, I mean, you don't want to eat plantain morning, afternoon, and night because there's too much of oil right. you know, when you deep, deep, deep fry it. Right. Uh, you want to do plantain maybe like for lunch, mm -hmm. you know, with rice or something like that. You probably steam it, right? Yes. Or you can do, no, some people don't even, don't even forget about the, the unripe one, which mm -hmm. is very, that which is the real mm -hmm. one. Yes. Yeah. Um, dodo is good, I mean, but not all the time. Mm -hmm. You don't want to eat dodo mm -hmm. all the time because it's, as well as eating fries, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. fries mm -hmm. is really bad for you. So dodo okay. is bad, but every now and then, you can just do your dodo, okay. you know. Since we're on the topic of food mm -hmm. and nutrition, you, like you said, we cannot talk about food and nutrition without going back to our own unique food. Yes. So, uh, do you think that uh, fufu contributes to... Pot belly? Yes. Uh, not really. Okay. Because, um, I mean, you, like I said, you don't want to eat fufu morning, afternoon, and night. If you eat like that, you're going to end up having pot belly. You just want to plan it and eat it, maybe lunch. Mm -hmm. And dinner, but mm -hmm. don't eat too late. Mm -hmm. yeah, so people don't know the difference between eating dinner mm -hmm. and oh, I'm hungry at night, and you end up eating fufu at night. Okay. Even digest sometimes. So as a result of that, you're gonna have, you know, mm -hmm. but belly. Okay. You know? So you wanna eat maybe between six to eight. Okay. You know, until you still do well with that. All right. Yeah. I so guess uh, quantity counts too. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You can eat. I mean, normally the best way to eat for you to eat in moderation. Not a whole lot mm -hmm. in moderation. Mm -hmm. You know, can mm -hmm. eat eight times, five times a day. Mm. Break down your meals. Yes. Right. Yes. Right. That's good. And fish versus beef. Fish, is good. Beef is good. It depends on how you eat them. Again. Yeah. Yeah. And I think you mentioned that all food is good. All food is it's good. It's just how you how plan, you plan your, your meal. Your meal. Yeah. How, how you much plan your meal. You so that's it. It's really important for everybody to plan your meal. Don't yeah. just eat like that. You mm -hmm. know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, I see you have all these. Uh... Uh, this is WMBF um, Atlanta. This is SNBF. They're all drug free awards. Okay. And this is NGA. So when you say drug free awards, what, what does that mean? That means I'm a natural bodybuilder. I don't have any steroid in my system. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And how do, do they ensure that you don't have any steroids? Well, before you go to any show, during the weighing in and um, check in, they check everybody. Make you go through a drug test. Okay. Yeah, urine test and um Okay. Then when the result is out, the present to you if you if you test then you, you, might, you might end up losing your membership as a, a pro bodybuilder. Okay. Yeah. So um you go all around the world or just uh in America? Oh uh, right now here America for now. Yeah okay. for now. But um I'm planning to move it to Africa because back in Nigeria we're still lacking behind. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you need somebody like us. Mm -hmm. I mean, a few of my colleagues mm -hmm. to go back there and change things in Nigeria when it comes to bodybuilding industry okay. in Nigeria. Yeah. Okay, do it the right way, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, sounds yeah. good. Mm -hmm. Okay, now the show today is about being fit, mm -hmm. and I know you are going to show us some moves. Oh yes. There are different parts of our bodies. We African women have. The the hips. Hips. We're well endowed. Whichever way you want to put it. <laughs> Some of us want to keep the hips but lose the abs. So there are, I guess there are different ways of doing that. Mm -hmm. um, you're a personal trainer. So yeah. we know that you have a clientele of people. Mm -hmm. Trainees. Trainees. Mm -hmm. Do you have a studio? Um, right now I'm working. As a matter of fact, I'm working on my studio right now. Um, probably before the end of this year, it should be erected. Okay. Mm, yeah. So would you have, like, people come to your studio, would you be a personal trainer at the studio or do you go to people's houses at the moment? Right now, um, I do gyms, I do people's houses, I do um, apartment complexes and stuff like that. Okay. Yeah, for now. Okay. 
All right. And yeah. anybody, anybody was interested in getting in touch with you? Well, how yeah. could they get in touch with you? If people want to come, so some people want to come to me because in my apartment, I mean, I, I work with my apartment complex and um, I put some of my equipment in the apartment complex gym and okay. they allow me, then people come to my apartment complex gym. Okay. Yeah, for me to get them trained. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you have a website, right? Yes, okay. it's uh, www.ironmanphysic.com. Okay, yeah. ironmanphysic.com. Yeah. Okay. So everyone, go uh, on www.ironmanphysic.com to keep up with uh, Andy's work and um, if you need to get in touch with him. So when we come back, we're going to be talking some more to Andy about bodybuilding, the competitions, and some of the trophies that he has won over time.